Good morning and welcome to the video for sixth grade for Tuesday, May the 5th. This is going to be our homework video from the lesson on Monday. So as I mentioned yesterday, um, I am going to be working uh, on all of the homework problems for these videos from now on to be able to better help people that are uh, finding these from outside of our school. So again, if you're a student at Risen Christ, we are doing the even numbers uh, on the front and then one and two on the back. But again, I'm going to do all of these. So number two, the median is going to be our center point uh, for all of these if we put them in order. So we have five data points right now, six, eight, and then 10 would be the middle one. Our mode would be any number that repeats more than once. We do not have one. So I'm gonna put none. And then if we play a uh, six game and this person scores 10 points, then we need to find the new mean, the new median, and the mode. So our mode would become 10. Our median is still going to be 10 because now I have two of those. Um, that was the worst looking A I've ever drawn. Well, that's not a good E either. <laughs> um, so what would happen is we would have six, eight, 10 and 10. And so because we have two um, numbers that are the same when it comes time to add both of those together and divide by two uh, to figure out our median because we have an even number of data points, um, then that just stays the same. And then our mean, uh, we would do 57 divided by six and that is going to give us 9.5. Uh, number five, an auto manufacturer wants their line of cars to have a median gas mileage of 25. So if I'm looking at these data points, I've got 19, then 23, then 25, then 26, and 29. 25 would be my median. Um, so yes, that is going to meet that requirement. Um, I'm just going to... Pretend that I finished writing that. Uh, number six, which actually relates to number seven. So um, they advertise the average price. If we are talking the average price, what we probably should be using is the mean. And so if I add all five of these numbers together, I'm going to get 2,005. If I divide by five, which is the number of data points I have, I am going to get my average. But my average for this is actually going to be 401. So technically the add is not correct because if we use the mean um, to find the average, then we are going to end up just over. Now, if we take a look at our data points and we tried to use something else, uh, let's say that we use the median. So I had, we have 250, uh, then 300, then 325. If I'm using that method to find the center, then that could be correct. Um, but if we are trying to find the exact average, we should be using the mean for that. Explain how to find the mean for number seven. Uh, we add all of our data points together and then divide by the number of data, or sorry, the value for each data point, and then divide by the number of data points that we have. Um, on the back, um, our mode is going to be any number that repeats. Again, uh, for the second time that we've asked about that, there is not one. Um, number two, uh, if we add all of these uh, number of minutes up, we get 195 divided by five, which would give us 35 minutes as the mean or average practice time. Uh, number three, I'm gonna scooch down just a little bit. So our answer is 1,008 centimeters squared. And so uh, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit to try to get all of this on screen. So we are going to have one instance of multiplying 25 by 15, and that's going to give us this face here. We're going to have a 25 times 12, which is going to give us our bottom face. We're going to have a 25 times 9, which is going to give us this part in here. And then we are going to have two ends. And so when we're working with the triangles, normally we do one half um, of the base times the height. And so that would be 12 times 9 or 9 times 12. But we're doing that twice. So it's kind of the same thing as doing 9 times 12 
add all those together and that gives us our answer. Uh, number four, uh, Kate records the number of miles. We want just the number of days that she biked four to seven miles. So kind of using an old trick, we can just count up the number of dots that fall between four and seven. And that gives us our answer. That would give us seven days. And number five, um, we can do six divided, or sorry, 42 divided by six. So we add all this together. We get $42 uh, dollars divided by six gives us $7 uh, per person. So uh, one of my other videos, I talked about whether or not that was a particularly fair way to do that. Um, if I am someone that bought like a small appetizer and then someone else decided to buy a um, three course meal with like a steak and lobster and dessert and everything else, it's probably not fair for me to have to chip in a bunch of my money uh, to uh, get the mean of uh, the cost for all of our meal together. So just a thought. So I uh, hope the video helps. Again, if you have any questions and you're a Risen Christ student, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Um, at the moment, I don't have any way to turn on comments because of the way the video is rated. So uh, if you're watching this from outside of my classroom and you still have any questions, please reach out to your math teacher uh, for any explanation on what we've gone over today. So hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video, which will be coming out at the same time as this one for a new lesson. Have a great day.